So, when we are on board, I want to be addressed as not just Captain, I'm called Captain My Captain. Captain My Captain! Right on. Our sailing holiday started on the 28th of June. Day one, we left the marina north of Stonetown and headed for Membe, which is a small island to the northeast um, of uh, Nungwe, that's on the east coast of Zanzibar. We sailed a catamaran, a Leopard 43. It had four berths, two 40 horsepower Yanmar engines, mainsail and jib. And that created a total sail area of about 1200 square meters, fairly large. Uh, well appointed with instruments, including autopilot, chart plotter, wind speed and direction. Uh, what I didn't have was any actual maps. That would have been a great help. The purpose of our trip was to have a holiday and then yes, primarily to get to know firsthand the experience of open ocean sailing, the Liverpool experience. We spent five days traversing the west coast of Zanzibar between the mainland and Zanzibar and we did it in total 170 nautical miles. I thought it was great. Another lesson learned was, yes, one can easily find your way around using a fancy chart plotter. A lot of feedback, a lot of information. But in the planning stages of any kind of route, uh, uh, an actual map, a chart, would have been much better. Uh, the ladies were in charge of the uh, provisioning and the meals. Jane and Taryn basically put meals together, pre-cooked them, froze them up and uh, yeah, we had them for supper meals. Uh, breakfast and lunch was a self-help, self-service approach and yeah, it worked pretty well. Day 2, the 29th of June, we left Nembe and headed south uh, around the corner to Nungwe and then on to Bawe Island, where we moored for the evening. So, what have I learned from the sailing experience? Well, we had a lot of fun. You know, it was great fun, and uh, yeah, great to be out in the open ocean. You know, in the wind and on the waves. The day it is absolutely amazing. We are on the open ocean for the first time in three days. Everybody's having an absolute It is, however, quite physically demanding, you know, getting sails up and down, especially the main sail, huge sail, and I mean, it took some effort to pull that sail sort of three quarters of the way and then winch it up the last few. Yeah, even the winch sometimes battled to get it up. Catamarans are known not to be very good 
sailors into the wind and uh, ours was no exception. I think uh, you know, when the wind was strong, we essentially could only get about 60 degrees off the wind. And yes, in lighter winds, we did a little bit better, sort of, and our, our range off the wind was between 40 and 45 degrees. Day three, the 30th, we left Bowie and headed back to the marina for repairs. And once those were completed, we went to Prison Island, or Chapuane, as it is officially named. Day four, we left Prison Island and then headed across the channel to Sudan, which is on the African mainland. We got about halfway and then decided, because winds were a little bit calm, to head back south to Uzi, where we overnighted. Tonight's the thing, we can take the boat back tomorrow. Throughout the five days, conditions were generally calm. Calm in the mornings, building up in the afternoons, both wind and water. Uh, it started around about 1 and then build up to about 1.5 meters. And wind started at about 6 or 7 knots, building up to 18 or 19 knots on a couple of days. Five and our final day, we left Uzi and stopped off at Nyambambe and from there we headed on to Stonetown and the Marina, travelling a total of 170 nautical miles more or less.